Jason Murray, James, and Pinson. The five out there for LSU. Trying to win it on the road. Pinson guarded by Reese. Pinson, right hand, crossover, seven seconds. Kick out, days for three. Rebound, play, throws it out. The defense, they really tried to keep Pinson off his right hand. Just the only thing that was left was Days in the corner for a three. Didn't give up a two. Forced a tough shot from the perimeter and then battled like you wanted. Bryant goes up and gets the rebound, secures the basketball, and gets a trip to the free throw line. Starting to sense it. Eric Stevenson saying, get up. Now, this one is not over by any means. Not so fast. South Carolina, of course, it's a harmonious team right now. Looking for its third straight Come win. Come on. One Make a free throw. In the top half of the SEC <laughs> would be their biggest of the year. Make one at least. One first things first. The first and two. Oh, shit. Oh my God, it's a free throw for love of God. He needed to make the first one. Two point lead. And Will Wade uses his final timeout as expected. Needed. Just a couple of weeks ago. This is the former LSU Tiger. He's going to be right there guarding Tari Issa going. Hey, you guys remember me? Two-point lead for South Carolina. Looking for its biggest win of the year. Gray covers up Eason. 1.5. That's all the Tigers have to work with. Baseball feed. The catch tipped. Yes. Expires. And South <laughs> Carolina <laughs> topples LSU. A huge one for the big cuts. What's up, everybody? Gamecock Chuck here. Man, what a freaking game yesterday at Colonial Life Arena as the Gamecocks took down a very good defensive team in LSU behind a very great performance, man, an exceptional performance from Jermaine Cousinard, who had 33 points in yesterday's victory in front of his mom. So inspiring to see uh, that on displayed on, on, on television yesterday. Gusty performance from Cousinard, uh, 15 points from Eric Stevenson, 10 from Devin Carter. Just a great, great overall performance from everybody. You know, they fought, they scrapped, they played from start to finish, man. It's a great total team win by Coach Martin and his guys. And it, it was awesome to see, man. They, they kept hope alive yesterday for the Gamecocks as far as uh, any kind of postseason. Uh, I'm not just talking about the dance, but NIT, whatever. They kept their season hopes alive to go to postseason play. Um, but like I said, great win by everybody especially in front of a uh, one of the top uh, recruits in the country, the number one player in the country, G.G. G. 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 Jackson. Uh, great showing there. As, as I was watching the game, you could tell that he was into the game. He's real energized and engaged with the game. So it's great seeing uh, the guys put on a great performance yesterday for him. And uh, we'll see how that recruitment goes as the year, you know, year goes along. He's a 2023 uh, prospect. So, we shall see how that goes. But a great win by the Gamecocks yesterday. Uh, we're we're uh, back home against uh, Mississippi State this week. So, hey, don't forget, pack the Colonial Life Arena this week, Gamecock Nation, and let's have another uh, opportunity to get a victory for the, for, the, uh, for the season. Hey, with that being said, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, like this video by commenting it, on it and just uh, let me know your thoughts on the game and everything. And until next time, go Gamecocks. Great win, baby.